I was surprised at how good a scheme cheering is. Um, it's given us way more opportunities than what we had before. Obviously, we can now leave the EU and go places further afield, um, and we can see how other places do things differently rather than being restricted to the EU. And I feel really, personally, like really proud to be able to be sort of the first guys to do that from from Doncaster. I think it's it's incredible. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't do it. Like. You don't, you don't get offered this like ever and then to actually be chosen for it. And it, it still doesn't feel real now even though we're going home, it's just I, I don't want to leave. <laughs> like I'd do it again, like definitely. Um, it's generally been unimaginable, it's unreal. I can't even think of how many words to describe it. It's, every day it just keeps getting better, it's the last day now and it just feels like so surreal. I made the most of it, um, we got stuck in and it was just amazing, yeah. It's so creative to take them out of that college environment out that, uh, and put them in another country with different people to experience new things and for them to like coach their own sessions, it's just, it's got them to come out of their shells and you just see like amazing things and stuff that they've done. I'm genuinely so proud, they've been, they've been great. I think going into the schools was my favourite and the primary schools, the children there was just amazing, they were just so sweet and the way that from the day that we walked in how exceptional and welcoming they all were, it was just it was just really nice to see. It was just nice to like come over here and like give them something that we've got and it just made them so happy and just to see them have a smile on their face made us happy knowing we've made a difference. You don't realise how different people are until you've actually like worked with them or been in their shoes. The way that they, that they run things is completely different and I think being able to experience that and, and change the way that you carry yourself and the way that your mindset is, I think it's really important for any young person to learn. Yeah, there's a lot, definitely, um, and it was good to learn them all, like all the different cultures and everyone's just so nice over here and welcoming. You don't realise how lucky you are until you're here and you've done it all, like, you get here and you're like, oh, it's going to be this, but it is hard, it is hard work. Hard work but it's been extremely valuable to students, it's been valuable to me as a teacher and it's just, it's given them something like, it's given them a new entire experience. Um, my favourite day in the Caribbean is probably going on the courts with the children and we started doing TikTok dances and we all like, just we were vibing and having fun and we were all just getting along and it was, it made me happy seeing them happy. You're never going to get this again, it's like, honestly it's like once in a lifetime, just do it, like. I was hesitant at first and then I just thought, you know, I'm going to do it, just do it. If you're thinking about it, do it, generally do it in a heartbeat. I cannot express the, the amount of stuff that I've learned and the memories that I'll take with me through life because of this scheme and just, just generally just do it, just throw, in, throw yourself into it because I'm sure you'll thrive in it. It's great being able to have the freedom to explore like a completely different place. So if, to some students haven't even heard of St. Lucia before and I think that's incredible because they've just been taken from Doncaster to St. Lucia and it, it, it's just it's just something that was never possible really, do you know what I mean? So I think it's just, yeah, it's been good.